Hey, happy St. Patty's Day. Just wanted to post a quick Clubhouse takeaway uh, video. Um, today was a, an interesting topic and um, one that you do not think that we probably needed to have, but with everything going on in our industry and, and the amount of people um, getting licensed and, you know, we all talk about raising the standards of our industry, right? Um, how can we how how can we become better? How can we be professionals? And how can we do this as so many new people get their license? You guys know my my thoughts are you know the the, the industry's broken and how it's set up with the brokerage models and all of that structure. I think it's just all ass backwards and wrong. But um, anyways, we had a discussion today. There was a, a situation where an agent, a licensed agent, uh, walked into a home where the they used the, the electronic lockbox. Um, showings were not allowed. They were not going on. And uh, long story short was that they entered a property when they shouldn't have and cops were called um, and is now, you know, being charged with uh, trespassing, um, going to be reported to the division and all of those things. And, you know, as agents, you know, we talked to, we, we, we spoke about this in the past a ton, you know, what are the best practices for showings, right? Obviously this is a one-off situation. Um, it's sad. It's unfortunate for everyone involved. Um, but as an industry, right, like you should know, right from wrong as far as when to enter a home and when you can't em enter a home. And, um, you know, there are consequences to that. But then, you know, what are best practices, you know, when showings are allowed and there's four or five, six different agents and their clients just walking through the home? You know, how do you handle the key? How do you handle the lockbox situation? How do you know that, you know, as you're leaving the next group of people, um, you know, are going to be professionals? And I think it just comes down to this, right? Like, as a real estate agent, and I, and I talk to our agents about this all the time on, on our team, in a market like this, when we're experiencing this last year, uh, you know, even 2020, 2020, right, with COVID, you know, there were strict protocols. And it, the question was, is are you going to be a professional and, and, and um, do your job? Um, and in this market, when it's so tough, when it's so hard, right? This is the time for you to up your game. This is the time for you to take yourself to the next level and become a professional in our industry. Same thing back in 2008, 2009, 2010, you had, 2011, you had to be a professional to your clients. When it was 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, you know, those were the, those were the, the gravy years. Those were the, those were the easy years. You know, yeah, things moved a little bit slower, but it didn't take a ton of work and effort and things to, you know, you can get away with um, thing. And and now when when it's so difficult to get your client a home, when it's so difficult to navigate 20, 25, 40 offers on a property when you're representing a seller and what's the right offer to accept when they're all the same and are you doing your due diligence not only on the on the client but on the agent but on the uh, lender as well. You know, this is the time in, in our industry when more and more and more people are getting licensed for you to up your game and become a professional. Differentiate yourself from the rest because it's situations and instances that happened to this other agent on our call this morning that, um, you know, just just put a bad light on our industry uh, as a whole. And, um, you know, like I said, it's sad, it's unfortunate for everyone involved, but uh, this is the time, this is the time to really become professionals in, in what you do and have pride um, in what you do in, in, in your industry um, and, you know, articulate that to your clients because I promise uh, I promise, just like in 08, 09, 2010, 2011, those agents that made it through that market were professionals. They had to have the hard conversations. They had to navigate unknowns. And that's what we're doing now. It's just on the opposite end. This is, you know, price points going crazy, markets crazy, everything like that. Back then, it was everything's crumbling and crashing, and there was that fear. Um, so this is the time. This is the time to to become a professional and really up your game. And if you need help, reach out to me. Um, I, I'm looking for coaching clients. I, I, I would love to coach 
uh, real estate agents. My passion is to help people get into this into this uh, industry and thrive in it. Um, that's my mission. My mission is to change our failure rate, and uh, you know we just have to do better. So uh, reach out to me um, if you guys want to go listen to it. Um, the 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 recording is in our clubhouse uh, in the Central Ohio Real Estate Club uh, on March seventeenth. So you want to search for March seventeenth. Um, go and listen to it because it's a it's an important conversation uh, that we had to have this morning.